Hello everybody, I'm Kachi Player and welcome back to another episode of LA Noir. Now let's resume where it was on this case. If you're not mistaken, I need to go to two places. I need to go to to the bowling and the uh, I need to go back to central. Eleven King. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Eleven King. En route. That can Let's see not it. keep the man waiting. Though. Wait. It's in the directions. What do you need? Central. No, 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 no. I'm going to, I want to go to bowling first. Here. See, just like the end of the last episode. Which is wow, really close. And there it is. Strike! Man, it's a very long time I don't play bowling, man. On your usual lane? I'm Detective Feltz. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business for us. You got a guy works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. He clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Ah, oh, there he is. He's run. Tiernan! LAPD! I see, I see here. He's starting to run. Uh, now a car chase. There. What are you waiting for? Get after it. I you might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Cars to be parked the bowling alley. Lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn, or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Oh, man. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I try, Percy. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to land. No, your theories are Why do you think they run, Phelps? It's kind of obvious question. Why do you... Why do you think? That is the end of that. It's about fucking time. Put your hands in the air. It's got a kind of obvious question. Why do you always run? What do you think we will chase at the police? You're gonna throw. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Jeez, this is really a uh, mistake over there. <laughs> nice car, but I need to go use my old car here because I had the SAR and the radio for the police central. So, go back to central. Why do you stop? Right in the middle! What?
Mouskey's court switched off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. The no. captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and her other friend. Don't start again. More evidence about the uh, Dahlia Black, right? What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found mm -hmm. it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know? Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said, Cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, fellas. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy? Doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm, so it was as a message, so... He's still working for another serial killer yet. Interesting. We got our orders. Back to the well, Summers case. Yeah, sure. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Okay. Let me use the phone first. Where is the phone? Oh. Oh, there he is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment six, one two six Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, let's go to my first apartment. Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. I need to go back to the central, but... Wait, 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 let me check. Come on. Oh, the mailbox. Um. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Mm -hmm. It's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Now they have an oxymoron for you. Uh, let me go. He's gonna run again. Grosvenor McCaffrey. I knew it. Running on a hangover, McCaffrey. Sit down and we'll talk.
Jeez, why you not slide on the stairs? It'll be way easier. You are under the captain. They fight the good fight. Oh my God! Come on. Come on! Give it up, LAPD! Woof! Wait, wait, come on! Ah! Uh, ah! Gotcha. McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Okay, now we have two suspects in the custody. Now we have to figure out who is the Search the place, the truth. We're looking for something solid that ties McCaffrey to the crime scene. Oh, well, look at this. We have the proof. <laughs> he said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Terranen set him up. Hmm. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Well, whoever did it, at least it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. Incidental. Hmm. You must is <coughs> Rest will make a very good argument. How will you know if the other guy framed her? Huh. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Hmm. So, I think it is a guy. I think it is a guy, so... So, I think that's it for today. That's it. Well, let's go back to the central. Because if we found a true... Or true guy... But still, but... You have to make sure, because... Reserve uh, make a very good argument. How do we know he's not the real thing, the real suspect? Well, looks like we had to interrogate our suspect. Uh, you know what, Rusty? You drive this one to get more time. You're behind the wheel. Where exactly are you going? To the central, buddy. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in a later day. I'll hold you to that. Stick with one of these suspects, Jim. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is in one, McCaffrey is in two. I want a confession from one of them. Oh no, I need to choose! And fail me, young Phelps. Oh no, I have to choose. <laughs> oh man, this is hard. Ah, uh, okay. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Mm -hmm. Touche, detective. 
Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. No. Doesn't look good, Grover. God damn it. You or Tiernan from where we're sitting. Personally, I think Evelyn is better off. But I had nothing to do with it. Damn. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Hmm. No. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Or well, either is uh one is it? no that that it has to be turned on. About half of Augusta Summers' last correspondence with her daughter. What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Hmm. It seems very calm. But in the last question, I was right. So he said he doesn't know about uh, things. Someone he says someone put it there, which is <coughs> what the Russian says. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I I barely knew Evelyn. Mm, no. Sounds like half an answer to me, Ternan. Were you sleeping God, with why her? Is me? <laughs> That's none of your business. This is harsh. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Hmm. I think I said the truth. Damn! What the heck? Do you turn it? He's full of the common man routine, but he props up a bar like the rest of us. Evelyn thought he was going to be a great novelist. <laughs> he had nothing but vitriol for her. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. I'm gonna be my situation. I, I, I've got the wrong with too many answers. Hmm. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and. I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Don't talk about how it was between me and Evelyn. You don't know anything. Damn. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that. And there's no way you can prove any different. God damn it, this is a... As hard as this is for you to contemplate, I really loved Evelyn. She was kind and gentle to me. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. 
We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Oh my god, what now? This, I miss every single question. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thank you. Ah, look at here. So, yeah, I think we found a true guy. Hmm, now you're gonna can escape me. So, what about this? You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? Oh, yeah? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Because you have the goddamn criminal record. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! I got you! I got you, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna charge you for the murder of Evelyn Summers! Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys, you bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot, Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in a prison graveyard. Sucks to be you, buddy. Oh. Hmm, I too I missed two clues. Or of course I missed too many of my questions. I missed two clues. It has to be on the bar. That's why it's marked the bar. But where? Anyway, <clears throat> you find a true guy. It was the uh, the other one, because it was uh, the guy. was really calm. There was someone who went uh, suspect, but then we <clears throat> we touched their wound, their wound, and then boom, all true comes loose. We found a true guy. The is the end of the Stuart Circus Troy murder case. So thank you so much to watch my channel. Put your comments down below what you think about this uh, about this episode. And stay tuned for the next episode of LA Noir. And remember folks, here we are all winners. Bye bye. <laughs>
We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. It's Gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. They try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and Infilate. Mate, we can I lose everyone. Sent the lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! 